perfect. Oh, I love your son. La 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 la. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel. You may know me as Teddy from the Mother Goose Club, but I'm also a mom to two children, Olivia and Riley. Did you know that this little ball of dough has superpowers? It's true. When your kids play with it, they build finger muscles and brain power. I'll show you how. <laughs> when little children knead, roll, poke, and cut Play-Doh, they're strengthening the tiny muscles in their hands which they'll need for writing. They're also releasing tension and developing hand-eye coordination. There you go, whoa, yes! What are you doing? What are you doing? Cooking. You're cooking! I love it! Perfect, Riley. What are you making? Looks like a pizza or peanut butter cookies. You're cutting it? I like that. When kids play with Play-Doh, there are no rules. So they can let their imaginations run wild and push the limits of their creativity. This type of activity forces kids to make a lot of decisions and figure things out on their own, which boosts their intelligence. Talking to your kids while they create is also a great way to build their vocabularies. Riley, look, if you turn it around, it'll cut better for you. You see that? That's called a serrated edge, and it'll cut much better for you. See? <gasps> Yay, high five! I like it. Do you like it better when the moon is a crescent moon or the full moon? A uh, crescent moon. Yes, that's Olivia's favorite kind of moon. Okay. Mommy, mommy. Perfect, mommy, Olivia. Mommy, mommy, mommy. I love it. It's perfect. When you turn it this way, what letter is it? C. That's right, it's also a letter C. And you can also call it an arc, Olivia. Pound. Pound? Pound. What are you doing? I said. He said pound. What are you doing? Look. That's a, um, <gasps> it's a waffle. It's a waffle. Waffle! I told you this little ball of dough had superpowers. So add some Play-Doh to your playtime and show us how it goes. When you share your tips with us, you help us and other Mother Goose Club families learn. So please hashtag your videos and pictures with Mother Goose Club and let us know what works for you in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about our new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Rachel. You may know me as build brain development. And I said that line wrong. Mommy, look, he's gonna miss the colors. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Poke and cut Play-Doh? <laughs> what did I say? So let their imaginations run <laughs> Talking to ki your children as they create. <laughs> No, I'm not because I don't know where we're picking up. Can you sit down, Briley? So let them. <laughs> when your kids play with it, they develop. <laughs> when your kids play with it, they build. So add some play doh to your play doh time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carolyn, and this is my friend Phoebe. Hi. I love when Carolyn babysits because we always do fun craft projects together. One of our all-time favorites is a bouquet made out of egg carton flowers. I love it because the flowers never go bad. And I love to paint. In just a few easy steps, you can make your own bouquet perfect for springtime, Mother's or Father's Day. We'll show you how. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the supplies you'll need. You'll need acrylic paint, brushes, paper plates for palettes, scissors, water, the bottom of an egg carton, paper towels, and pipe cleaners. The first step is the best, paint. 
That's right, Phoebe. To get started, just paint the inside of your egg carton and then flip it over and do the outside. Each cup will be one flower and you can paint them however you like. What color are you using? I'm making a lot of purple ones. Ooh, good choice. Why purple? It's my favorite. Plus, then it'll match my room. Hmm. When kids make simple decisions like picking a paint color, they're actually developing their critical thinking skills. All right, now that we've finished the inside, let's flip it over and paint the outside. One reason I love crafting with kids is that it helps them with their hand-eye coordination, which is helpful for so many things like writing and playing sports. And plus, it's a great way for kids to practice counting in a fun way. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Thank you. Now that we're finished, let's let these dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. While we wait, let's sing Mary, Mary, Quite Contrary. That's a flower song. That's a great idea. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. <laughs> great job. Now that the cartons are dry, I'll poke little holes in the bottom with scissors. Now I'll cut out each flower. And I'll pick out the stems. This part is a bit tough, so an adult really needs to do it. Six for me, and two, three, four, five, six for Carolyn. Okay, now we'll add the stems. Just make a little loop around your finger, like this, so that the pipe cleaner stays in place. And there you go, for you. <laughs> Beautiful. The last step is cutting petals into the cups. You can cut a lot and have little petals like this. Or if you cut just a few times, you get big petals like this or you can leave them as is. I want big petals. <laughs> you got it. Here are your scissors. And there you have it. Beautiful egg carton bouquets, perfect for decorating or gifts. Try this project at home and let us know how it goes by hashtagging your photos and videos with Mother Goose Club or by tagging us here on YouTube. And tune into our YouTube channels to find lots of fantastic videos for you and your kids. Thanks for dropping by and happy crafting. <laughs>Hi, I'm Jane, and these are my kids, Alex and Emily. Hi! These guys love to play pretend, which is fantastic because they're using their imaginations and practicing social skills. Sometimes, we like to create simple props like these bunny ears. Props are a great way to spark the imagination. Today we'll show you how to make these bunny ears out of paper plates and cotton balls. <laughs> okay. For this craft, you'll need heavy paper plates that are white on at least one side, crayons, cotton balls, a pencil, safety scissors, and glue. The first step is to fold your plate in half like this.
Next, draw the ear shape with a pencil like this. Now cut around the outline you just drew. If your kids can handle child-safe scissors, it's a good idea to let them try cutting. Cutting with scissors develops finger muscles, which kids need when they learn to write. If you're not comfortable with your kids using scissors, you can just do the cutting for them, or use a pre-cut plate so they can just assemble. Now open the plate and color the inside of the bunny ears any color you want. I'm doing pink. Now for my favorite part, adding cotton balls to make the ears fluffy. You can glue the cotton balls on as is, like this. Or stretch out the cotton balls and stick them on with little dabs of glue like this. Looking great, guys. Now let's let our bunny hats dry. You can adapt this craft to make bear ears, frog eyes, antlers, or anything else your kids can imagine. If you want to extend this craft, you can paint the hat different colors or add extras like feathers and glitter. Well, what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Let's pretend that I'm the mommy bunny and you're the baby bunny. Okay. <laughs> the best part of doing this craft is getting to play bunnies when you're done. Try making the bunny hat at home with your kids. And if you're the sharing type, please send me photos and videos. For more bunny fun, you and your kids can sing along with our bunny hop. You can find the video on YouTube. Hit us up with questions or comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about our next video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, I'm Ivy. I play Baba Sheep on the Mother Goose Club. I love doing arts and crafts, especially with the kids I babysit for, like Lucas. Hi. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a bus out of a cardboard box. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna turn this cardboard box into a bus that we can ride in. Then we can pretend to drive all around the neighborhood, picking up all our friends. This is a super creative craft that you can do at home with your child. And by the end of it, you'll have a toy that your child can use for pretend play. This encourages creativity and imagination. For this craft, you'll need a large empty cardboard box, some white, yellow, and black construction paper, glue, adult scissors, safety scissors, crayons, and four paper plates for the wheels. Okay, let's get this bus rolling. First, we're gonna cut off the bottom flaps. The cardboard's a bit tough to cut, so an adult needs to do this step. Now we're going to fold in the top flaps to make the bus sturdy. To make the windows, we're going to use white paper. We're going to cut ours in half so that it fits better on the box. When you're doing this project at home, make sure that you're letting your child make all kinds of creative decisions. The more they do themselves, the more pride they'll feel when they're done. So how many windows do you think we need on each side? Three. Sounds good. Can I help with the cutting? Sure. Here's your scissors. If you feel comfortable letting your child use safety scissors, let them help with the cutting. It exercises the small muscles in their hands and develops fine motor skills. I did it. Awesome. Now let's glue these windows on. You almost done? Uh, just my last bit. We're gonna add two pieces of paper to the front to create the windshield. And great.
great. Okay, are you ready to glue on the windows? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna glue on the first one, right here. Look good? Uh-huh. You ready to put it in the middle? Uh-huh. Let's put it right here. Great. Now let's give this bus some headlights. We can fold the piece of paper in half, and I'm gonna draw a circle. And then I'm gonna cut it out. If your child's like Lucas and loves to help, you can have him trace the circles himself. Awesome. Wow, look at that circle. This helps them develop their hand-eye coordination. Almost done. Now let's glue the headlights on. Looks good. Awesome. To make the wipers, we're going to cut two long strips of black paper, like this. Awesome! Hey, which way do the windshield wipers go? That way. Good. Looking good. Awesome. Hey, we did it! This bus looks amazing, Lucas! Great job! But it's missing one thing. What? Well, what helps the bus move? The wheel! That's right! We're going to make them out of paper plates. We can either glue them on as is or color them however we want. Let's turn pink. That's a good choice. Now that we've glued these awesome wheels, you ready to put them on the bus? Uh-huh. Let's do it. I'll let you glue yours on first. Oh, that looks great. I'll pop mine on. And make sure it sticks. Looks good. Hey, let's take our bus for a spin. Yeah! Come on! The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Try making a bus at home with your child and let us know how it goes by posting photos or videos and hashtagging them with Mother Goose Club. As always, we love to hear from you, so type in comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's get this bus rolling. Hey. <laughs> Action. Do it. Sorry. So how many windows do you think we need on each side? Three. Can I help? <laughs> it's my fault because I was like. I went. Oh, okay, stabbing. He knew I messed up. Yeah. It exercises their fine motors. Oh, sorry. It exercises the small motors. Small muscles. It exercises their fine. It, ex it okay, the different things. Be nice. <laughs> and develops the fine. Now let's glue these headshot. Oh my God. Black street, street. Black street. I want to wipe your windows. I want to wipe your windows. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Mother Goose Club Playhouse.